This is Amber Bell from Cal Business Solutions. Today's topic is how to create a Dynamics GP SmartList favorite and reminder. So if you haven't used SmartList before, this is the video for you. We're going to go ahead and open SmartList. I have a button for that in my toolbar. If you don't know how to set up a toolbar, we have a video for that on our website as well. But we're going to navigate the way that you can if you don't have a button. So that's going to be under Microsoft Dynamics GP. About halfway down, you'll see SmartList. We're going to open that up. Now the smart lists that you see are going to be based on your security. So I have security to quite a bit. Um, I have financial, inventory, purchasing. We're going to go ahead and open up purchasing and click by, by vendors. And you're going to see underneath vendors there's quite a few that are built in. Any smart list that ends with an asterisk at the end are designed by Microsoft. So we're going to click on this one that says 1099 vendors. Now what I want to do is I want to add a couple columns, maybe make these a little wider. So if I mouse right over it, gets this arrow right there. Double click, it'll make it a little wider. So I'm going to add columns. And you'll see up here there's a search, there's a refresh, and there's a columns, and there's favorites. So first we're going to add a column. And I'm going to add my tax registration number and my tax ID. So we're going to go ahead and add both. And now I'm going to on purpose break this guy. We're going to take away his tax info. So we're going to delete that right out of there. And save that. We're going to see... Now we have somebody that's missing tax info. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and save a new favorite. Now there's not a save button in SmartList. Even if I go under file, there's not a save. The save is actually the favorites button. So we're going to say 1099 vendors and we're going to say missing tax information. I can either add it as a favorite and that would just be done by clicking add and add favorite. But I'm actually going to do add favorite and reminder. And what I want to do is say when the number of records is greater than zero and I can even display this as a queue which you'll see that on the home page so we're gonna click OK and now I'm gonna add my filter so on here I have the 1099 type is not equal to not a 1099 vendor meaning it'll pick my miscellaneous my dividend or my interest vendors and I also want it when the tax ID is equal to blank and the tax registration is equal to blank so that'll just pick the ones that are missing both we're going to click OK now I have that down to just the vendor with the missing information so I'm going to click Favorites and Modify. And it'll remind me that there's a, a reminder connected. We're going to click OK, Close. And if I refresh my home page, now you'll see I have my list there. And very easily I can click. This is going to open, run that search, and find that vendor. If I get the information, I can double click, go into Options and edit this vendor, put that information. Or if I need to, I can actually click Word and I can even create a letter. And we'll talk about how to edit these later, but you can see real quickly that this will create a letter that can be sent to that vendor. For more great Dynamics GP tips and tricks, visit www.calzone.com tips and sign up for our monthly e-newsletter.